the right chick, but go oh, I'm being rude. I haven't even introduced myself to that a lot. Sorry. I'm, um, Captain Scarlet. The original Borderlands was robustly supported with downloadable content, so it's no surprise that Borderlands 2 has gotten the DLC train rolling so soon after the game's release. Pirate Queen! Courageous and deadly. Captain Scarlet and her pirate's booty takes you to a few new areas, introduces a couple of new characters, and throws a slew of piratical enemies in front of your gun barrels, following the formula of the better DLCs from Borderlands Past. Though the humor feels a bit tepid and there are a few rough edges, environmental variety and enemy diversity fuel more than a few hours worth of fun questing and compulsive looting. Safe, let us chat in person. Nice moves out there. You're a vault hunter, yeah? Never met one of you guys before. The guns, the power, it's all very striking. As you can probably guess from the title, the main character in this DLC is a sexy pirate lady on the hunt for treasure. You join forces, and her aloof attitude and casual mentions of how she will inevitably betray you make for some amusing moments. You also meet two other weirdos who are obsessed with lonely delusions. One that Scarlet loves him, and the other that he is not the only one left alive in a town full of corpses. These one-note jokes elicit a few hearty chuckles, but all too soon they run as dry as the sands of Oasis. That's the dried up resort town you'll have to fast travel to in order to access this new content. <laughs> A new vehicle lets you cruise around the arid ocean floor with omnidirectional maneuverability, squishing worms and keeping an ear out for moisture farm jokes. The dusty brown areas are an uneasy echo of the dusty brown areas of the original Borderlands, but some lush caves are a downright lovely respite. Flowing water, sparkling crystals, and colorful pools are all welcome sights for your weary eyes. In keeping with the theme, the bandits you frequently encounter have taken up the pirate's life and they've learned a few new tricks in the transition. Disappearing temporarily, reeling you in with anchors, and drawing health from your suffering are the main ways these scurvy sea dogs try to stick it to you. And this variety livens things up on the battlefield. Though the combat is as explosive and enjoyable as ever, things are slightly rougher around the edges here, with the environment occasionally causing some wonky stuttering. Watch my friend, and don't worry, I still need your help to get past whatever traps there might be in the treasure chamber. I will not betray you, You'll be just kidding! Fortunately, these stumbles won't burden you much as you blast your way through around six hours of quests to reach the oddly anticlimactic finish. Your time can easily stretch on longer, making Captain Scarlet and her pirate's booty a good way to invigorate whichever playthrough you're currently on, providing you're at least level 15. Though surprisingly mild-mannered, given its suggestive title, the Captain Scarlet DLC delivers plenty more enjoyable borderlanding, which is good news for those looking for fresh new ways to rake in the badass points. Of the Vault Hunters who journeyed to the desert town of Oasis, not knowing the horrors that would befall them.